Hi guys, today I will show you how I do a retouch on some tribal braids. So I started out with the edges out with my client and the front cornrows taken down. After I've done that, I go in and tighten up all the braids in the inside of her head. With this kind of touch up, I like to go in on the inside with the crochet hook and just tighten it up just you know lightly um, nothing too tight but I just kind of use an interlocking method as you can see here after I moisturize and spray the hair with water just to kind of get it to you know feel a little more like detangled and all that good stuff I take the crochet hook and I go once I pull from the left and then I pull from the top and I get a nice nice tightened up effect there to make it look newer and feel fresher for the client now i could have gone three times on all of these but i just didn't want to add any extra tension so that it would be too just too uncomfortable for her it's just a touch up we don't need to do too much okay and plus i don't want this to uh, affect her when she takes her hair down in about three weeks So now I'm just about done with the tightening up process in the back and I'm gonna move to the front. As you can see, it's just nice and lightly tightened. I think it looks good. We'll add some oils and all that good stuff later. And let's move on to the front. So she wants a design. I don't even know what you call this design. It's not a figure eight, but um, it's kind of like where it's gonna crisscross in two different spots. And you'll see when I'm done, but basically I go ahead and make my parting like so, and then I start to braid. As I start to cornrow her hair, I begin with just braiding her own natural hair just to kind of take the tension off before I add in or feed in the added hair. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I just add in a little bit at a time. This hair is a 1B mixed with 280. Okay, I am using Easy Braid hair. Um, it's my favorite brand of braiding hair because it's soft and it does exactly what I want it to do every time. So I'm braiding and right now I'm about to cross over here into this next section. I love doing these braids, it's so much fun. <laughs> and of course I just continue to add in more hair. So we're going to go ahead and cross over to that next section that I've left out. Adding in a little more hair as we go. We'll just go ahead and finish that braid off. What I like to do when I get to this part is I'll braid down a little bit and then I'll start feeding hair in just to match the rest of the length of the knotless braids in the back. So let's go ahead and start that next section here. We're gonna cross over the braid, still adding in hair, and we're gonna cross over it to make a really cool design. If you know the name of this design, please put it in the comments because I feel like it has a name and the name is just really slipping my mind right now. So. <laughs> 
as you can see the design has taken shape i'm going to continue to braid this braid all the way to the end and we'll move on i'm just braiding this part i know it looks like super tight i was in constant communication with her she said it's not really tight it's just how it looks you guys because i i start off the braid with the client's natural hair and then I begin to add in the hair. I do not make these too close. I do not make them too tight. And there are times where as a braider, I can feel if my braid is too tight and I will take it down and I will make it a little more comfortable for my client and myself because I don't want to see them in pain. <laughs> but no, she was great. She said the braids did not hurt and yeah overall she really enjoyed her experience getting her touch up so i really enjoy using the she is bomb edge control it dries hard the hair won't move and it's black owned so i really enjoy using this product i've been using it for a few years now and i really like it i really like it i did notice the formula was a little different this time not gonna lie but it still handled the business now my client she's um a little little older so i didn't want to give her the baby hair special okay so we just want to make the edges look a little neat and here we go it looks beautiful she was great and yeah thanks for watching